Welcome you guys, I'm Roni from Yoga by Roni. Today's practice is going to be a yin yoga, which is restorative, and it's going to be all about twisting. So really focusing on the digestion, on the solar plexus, which is two inches above the belly button. And so we're going to get started laying down and then come to a seated at the end and end with some breath work techniques. So coming into a comfortable laying down position, nice and slow, as you straighten the arms and legs forward, shoulders away from your ears as you take a moment to lay with the eyes closed, taking an inhale through the nostrils, filling the belly and the diaphragm with air, with an open mouth cleansing exhale. Tuning the attention inward into your body as you inhale, nice and expansive. With an audible exhale. One more, making it your deepest breath in through the nose. And out through the mouth. Now on this inhale, reaching the arms above your head, we'll move into a side body stretch here. So shimming both heels over towards the right edge corner of your mat. As you pick up the left wrist and bring the head, neck and shoulders also towards the right edge corner of your mat. Crossing the left ankle on top of the right as you keep the shoulders and the hips rooted down. So we wanna create space in the left side body here from the hip bone all the way up towards the armpit. Flexing the left toes back, that will really expand the left side rib cage as you take three nice cleansing breaths here. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale, exhale. One more as you draw navel in towards your spine, keeping the lower back flushed against the mat. And exhale. Now slowly uncrossing the ankles, shaking out the legs, however that feels good to you before we move into the other side. And then again, reaching the arms above your head, this time grabbing onto the right wrist, picking up the head, neck, and shoulders, bringing that over towards the left edge corner of your mat as you scooch both heels over towards the left. Shoulders stay rooted, right ankle crosses over the left. This time we create space in the right side body and the right rib cage keeping the head to a neutral position, flexing the right toes back to activate the right side body. Lower back, your sacrum stays rooted into the mat as we breathe here. Inhale through the nose, puff up the belly. Audible exhale. Again, inhale. Exhale. One more deep breath. And exhale. Slowly uncross the ankles, bring the body back to center, shaking that out as you bend both knees, pulling both knees in towards your chest as you rock side to side. Now keeping right knee in towards your chest as you straighten the left leg forward. Interlace the fingers. Slightly draw the right knee in towards your right armpit to avoid the rib cage here. Maybe drawing some circles with the right ankle. And then switching the direction of those circles, just bringing some nice fluid motion into the joints. Let's all take a deep breath in here together. 
And on your exhale, the right knee will be guided across your body towards the left with the left hand as you extend the right arm out to a T. The right fingertips may be floating off of the mat. If that's the case, just really focusing on the breath and with every exhale, rooting the right shoulder down. So this pose really aids in digestion, puffing up the belly on your inhale. Cleansing, audible exhale. Again, deep breath in. Deep breath out. Inhale. Exhale. Finding your limit here. Inhale. Twisting deeper on your exhale. Now drawing belly button in towards your spine. Slowly coming back to neutral onto your back giving the right knee a tight squeeze in towards your chest again as left knee comes up to meet it. Rocking side to side, giving the lower back, the sacrum, a bit of a massage, resetting the spine. Now we draw left knee in towards the armpit as you straighten the right leg forward, using the core to drop the right heel down. That helps us protect our lower back here. And then really using the bicep strength to draw left knee towards left armpit. We begin with those circles with the left ankle in a clockwise and then counterclockwise position. Inhales through the nose, through the practice. Exhales through the mouth. Finding a slow, steady breath, equal inhale to an equal exhale. Let's take a deep breath in here all together. And on your exhale, gently guide the left knee across your body with the right hand as your left arm extends out, picking up the head, drawing the gaze to the left. So just observing, noticing how this side feels. It may be a little different than the other. That's normal. Trying not to judge where you are. Rather breathing in compassion and really focusing on the solar plexus where the awareness goes, the energy flows. So this is our chakra of focus here. Twisting really helps bring the energy and the awareness to that area. Taking two more breaths here. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. One more deep expansive breath. And exhale. Now drawing belly button in towards your spine, engage the core, protect the lower back to come back to center, back to neutral. Both knees bend as you toe heel the feet wider than the mat, cactus the arms and just slowly windshield wiper the knees side to side. Both knees to the right, both knees to the left. One more time, finding that internal rotation of the hips, feeling a bit of a twist here, and then slowly bringing knees back to center as you toe heel the feet back to the mat, arms down by your side. From here, picking up the right ankle, bringing it on top of the left thigh. If you already feel the stretch here, you can hold, pressing the right knee away from your body. If you wish to take this a little bit deeper, picking up the left foot, interlacing the fingers, either on top of the left shin or behind the left thigh. Flexing the right toes back, that helps to protect the right knee. So you should be feeling this along the right outer glute, maybe some IT if there's tightness here. 
and then keeping the lower back flushed against the mat so you don't want your hands to go through. No arch in the lower back. Holding and breathing here. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Again, inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. One more deep breath in. Deep breath out as you pull the left knee in closer, giving it a nice tight squeeze. And then slowly release the interlace, but keep crossing the right knee over the left knee. Coming into Gomukhasana legs. So as much as you can, crossing the knees on top of one another as you bring your hands on top of the shins or on top of the ankles here. From here, flexing the toes back, drawing the ankles apart as you draw the knees in towards your chest. So getting nice and deep into the piriformis right here. Being nice and gentle as you guide the knees in towards the chest with every open mouth exhale. We'll breathe here together. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Rooting lower back into the mat. Inhale. And exhale. Last deep inhalation. And exhalation. Slowly release the ankles or the shins. Drop the left foot down as you uncross the right knee. Draw both knees in towards your armpits as you draw slow circles with the knees like egg beaters moving away and then in towards one another. So just lubricating the hip bones here, the hip sockets as you move the direction. Really nice. And then come back to center, feet come down to the mat, knees stay bent as we move into the other side. So left ankle on top of the right thigh, figure four. Flexing the toes back, option to stay here, pressing the left knee away from your body. This is a great stretch. If you wish to go a little bit deeper, you can pull right knee in towards your chest, interlace the fingers on top of the right shin or behind the right thigh. And maybe you use your elbow here to press the left knee away from your body. So simultaneously, right knee draws in as energetically left knee pushes away from your body. Getting that nice deep stretch in the left outer glute. And generally in this pose, one side will feel a little different than the other. That's completely normal. Holding and breathing all together here. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Again, deep breath in. Deep breath out. One more inhalation. And exhalation. Releasing the interlace, guiding the left knee across the right so the knees are stacked on top of one another. Bringing the palms to the shins or the ankles. Drawing the belly button in towards the spine to protect the lower back. As you grab onto the ankles or shins, drawing them apart from one another as you draw the knees in towards your chest. So deep breath in here, audible exhale, draw knees in. So the breath or the prana comes first and the asana or the pose comes second. The breath allows us to get deeper into the stretches, 
deeper into the yoga poses. So can you have the breath be the guiding point and the pose come secondary? One more inhalation and audible exhalation. Slowly releasing the ankles, bringing the right foot down first and then the left. Again, toe heel the feet wider than the mat. Cactus the arms, our second round moving side to side. Preparing to come up to a comfortable seated position, toe heeling the feet back to the mat, keeping the knees bent as you roll onto your right side for a brief moment, allowing the spine to reset and readjust. And then from here, pressing into the left palm to come up into a comfortable seated position, sitting cross-legged. And if you need a little bit of support behind you, you can prop yourself up onto a pillow, a blanket, or a block. And then from here, we're gonna move into Sufi rolls with our sitting bones rooting down. Palms will come down onto the thighs. As you melt the chest towards the left knee, the right knee, back, right, left, and then again, drawing the chest towards the left knee, the right knee. Inhale as you sit up nice and tall. Exhale as you hinge forward. So this is a really great pose to stimulate energy from the root chakra all the way up into the crown, the kundalini energy. We'll move a few more rounds in this clockwise position. And then switching the direction of those Sufi rolls. So chest hinges towards the right knee, the left knee, and then back up neutral spine. So the sitting bones stay rooted into the mat. It's just the chest that's hinging forward. Maybe closing the eyes, feeling the side body stretch as you hinge to the right and to the left knee. Cleansing, audible open mouth exhales. Three more rounds. And then come back to a neutral sitting position with the eyes closed, palms face up on the thighs. Just taking a moment here in stillness to observe, notice how you're feeling. Bringing the right palm to your belly. Breathing into the diaphragm, feeling the palm raise and rise. Oxygenating the body. And then from here, we'll come into a Baddha Konasana soles of your feet together, knees open wide. Grabbing onto the ankles, sitting up nice and tall, keeping the gaze forward as you slowly begin to hinge the chest forward. Maybe you walk the fingertips forward, but keep the chest lifted and the spine nice and long. Taking a nice deep breath in here with an audible exhale. Again, deep breath in, deep breath out. With every exhale, challenge yourself to melt your chest forward. One more inhale. And 
exhale. Now slowly begin to walk the hands back, neutral spine. From here, draw right knee in towards your chest. Straighten the right leg forward, left sole of the foot to the inner right thigh, and then picking up the right heel over towards the right edge corner of your mat. We'll come into Jani Shirshasana. Inhale, reach the arms up towards the sky. On your exhale, right hand to the left thigh, coming into a side body stretch. Trying not to dump into the right rib cage, but rather lengthening through the left side, moving the palm over like a rainbow shape. Deep breath in, melting the palm towards the fingertips on your exhale. Gaze is underneath the left armpit and up towards the sky. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath. And exhale. Using the core to slowly come back up. And then we'll switch sides. Right knee bends out, left leg straightens. Left heel towards the left edge corner of your mat. Sitting up nice and tall, rooting down as the left palm comes to the outer right thigh or knee. Right arm up towards the sky, bicep by the ear. As you slowly begin to reach the right fingertips over towards the left heel, gazing underneath the right armpit up towards the sky. Taking a few deep cleansing breaths lengthening through the right rib cage, moving the right arm over as if you're a rainbow. Try not to dump into the left shoulder or the left side body. Let's take one more inhalation and exhalation. Inhale, come back to center. Straightening both legs forward as you shake that out. And then we'll come into a twisting position. So right knee in towards your chest. Picking up the right foot, crossing it to the outside of the left thigh. Right palm of your hand comes behind you, fingertips away from your body. As you reach the left arm up towards the sky, and on your exhale, connecting left elbow to the outside of the right knee as you gaze over the right shoulder. Inhale, lengthen the spine, sit up nice and tall. Exhale as you twist. Again, inhale. And exhale. Last one, deep breath in. And exhale as you bring it back to center. Uncross the legs, shake it out. And then pulling left knee in towards your chest. Picking up the left sole of your foot, crossing it over the right thigh. Rooting down into the sits bones as your left palm comes behind the left glute. Fingertips away from the body, reaching the right arm up towards the sky as the right elbow connects to the outer left knee. Inhale, root. Exhale, twist. Inhale, sit a little taller. And exhale. Three more slow cleansing breaths. With every exhale, we're guided even deeper into rinsing the spine, detoxing the body, focusing on the solar plexus. One last deep breath in and deep breath out. Inhale, bring it back to center, shaking out the legs. 
Inhale, reach the arms up towards the sky. Exhale as you hinge forward, trying to reach for the ankles or the toes. Trying not to round into the spine here, but rather lengthen the chest as you hinge it forward. You can rock side to side to really root down. And with every exhale, we melt. Option to bend the knees here and then slowly kicking and lengthening the heels forward. One more deep inhalation and exhalation. Slowly bring it back to center, coming to a comfortable seat as we end in opposite nostril breathing. So if you bring your right hand to a peace sign, the thumb will connect to the right nostril and the pinky will connect to the left nostril. Option to bring the two fingers to the forehead or in between the brows as a stabilizing point. And we're gonna switch the thumb and the pinky to do opposite nostril breathing. So inhale and exhale through one nostril, inhale and exhale through the other nostril. So we'll do a few rounds of opposite nostril breathing together, and then we'll move into it ourselves for a few minutes. Okay, so this opposite nostril breathing really helps to balance the right and the left side of the brain. And it's a really great way of detoxing and flushing out the toxins in the body. So we'll begin here. Plugging the right nostril with the thumb as you inhale through the left. Plugging the left nostril with the pinky as you exhale through the right. Inhaling through the right again. Exhale through the left. Inhale left. Exhale right. Inhale right. Exhale left. Inhale left. Exhale right. Inhale right. Exhale left. Inhale left. Exhale right. Inhale right. Exhale left. Inhale left. Exhale right, few rounds on your own. Inhales and exhales through the same nostril. And we begin. Keep it going, you guys are doing great. One more round each side. slowly relaxing the palm down onto your thigh with your eyes closed. Inhaling through both nostrils, filling all the way to the top with an exhale through the nose. Noticing how much more air you can get through both nostrils.
keeping the eyes closed, staying with that rhythm of your breath. Inhales and exhales through the nose as we end our practice here. Asking yourself what it is that you wish to release and detox and leave onto your mat. Taking a few more oceanic sounds with the breath. As you bring in three things you're most grateful for today into the heart center. Choosing to take those gratitudes off of your mat and into the rest of your evening with you. Bringing the palms together to touch as you rub the palms, creating some heat, creating some energy here. And placing the palms onto the belly. Bringing a little extra added love and attention to the digestive system, to the solar plexus. Imagining the color of yellow radiating from your fingertips. Creating some healing into the belly and into the abdomen. Supporting the digestive system as we take one deep inhalation through the nose with an audible cleansing exhale through the mouth. Together we bring our palms together and in towards our heart center. The teacher in me honors and recognizes the teacher in each and every one of you. Thank you for practicing with me today. We'll bow forward to seal in our practice. Namaste. Thank you guys.